what are support and resistance levels? Support and resistance levels are point in the market at which the price of an asset tends to reverse to the opposite direction. So what do we mean by support and resistance? In the previous part of the course, we talked about um, trend lines. So trend lines can also be what we call support and resistance. So you can see in this chart that I'm drawing a range above the trend. So this is what is called a support. The lowest point at which the market goes. So this is the support. So this is what we call the resistance because you know when the market reached this point, it resisted and came back down to the support, goes back up, then follows that pattern for a while. So we're gonna see that pattern till we see a breakout. So we saw a breakout over at the end of this play over here. So this is what we mean by um this is what we mean by support and resistance. So let's check out another example. So this is a very good example of what we mean by support and resistance. So you can see the market had resistance area over here. You can see this area at which the market reversed. You can see this point, it reversed. This point, it reversed. We have more than two points at which the market reversed a lot. You can see also reversed at these points. So you can see the same goes for the support. You can see it reversed. So you can see till it had a breakout over here. So we're going to get into the breakout later on. So the support and resistance levels are areas, key areas, key levels in the market where we see reversals. So when we see reversals at these key areas, what you want to do is either draw a line just to indicate that point in the, for future purpose, or you draw a range. So we draw a box over that area so you know that area as a support or a resistance level. So you can see this other example also. This is a support and this is a resistance. Oh, sorry for that, my line is not the best, but I think it's, you understand the message I'm trying to give you. Let me just draw that again. You can see. So you can see over here that we are supporting our resistance. Don't mind my support, it can be like this, or I can just try to draw a box over all this part. So you know this area is a key area. So there's one vital information I'd like to tell you about support and resistance. So you see over here that we have support over here. But why do we have resistance on the same place as our support? You can see we had a breakout of our support over here, which means the red, the, the candles broke our support. Now this place is no longer valid for us, unless it's a false breakout and it traces back and retests and goes back up. But we can see that it didn't retest or retrace. It retraced, but it didn't retest. So you can see that at this point, it couldn't pass up. It stopped at this point. It couldn't go beyond this point. Do you know why? Because support becomes resistance and resistance becomes support. So this is a very critical rule for you to know before you start trading support and resistance. You can use support and resistance to trade on empty charts. Just support and resistance is a very good method for trading. So you can get high quality signals from support and resistance. So. You can see that this once support, once support turned resistance. So support turns resistance, resistance turns support. So if we had a breakout over here on the market, we could add with the same thing that the market won't be able to come back down, but it will then go back up because resistance can also become support. This is the resistance, it can also be our support. So once it breaks out, it can turn into support. So I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say here.